Hello everyone, Fabio here and welcome to Shades of Tech. In the last period we all heard a lot of talking about something called AK and I was personally amused because I still haven't decided if I want to buy a 4K TV and they are already going on with the next bit thing. I will try to answer some of the questions that I immediately thought because I believe that they could be the same you are thinking right now, such as what is AK or what's the difference with 4K? Or even more, should I wait for AK? So we'll try to understand together more about this technology. The first appearance of 8K I can think of is at CS 2014 and in the following years 8K TV randomly appeared from different manufacturers. Now, some years have passed, there are much more super powerful cameras that can shoot in 6K and even 8K, such as the Red Dragon and the 8K theme is being explained by some of the best YouTubers in the sector. We have recently seen that YouTube will allow 8K upload and the first 8K monitor will be made by Dell. What is 8K? At this point I'm sure all of you know what Full HD means and almost all of you are familiar with 4K which is 4 times the Full HD resolution for a total of 3840 by 2160 pixels which means that the equivalent of each Full HD TV pixel has to be divided in 4 pixels reaching 4 times the density with the same screen size or in other words that in a 4K display you can have 4 Full HD monitors. Well. 8K is 4 times the 4K resolution and keep you tight it's 16 times the 1080p resolution so in one 8K display you could fit 4 4K displays or 16 1080p displays it makes a fuckload of pixels with a resolution of 6680 by 4320 it means that there are 33,177,600 pixels which is more than 33 megapixels so we have officially started again the race for the megapixels but is AK better than 4K? now that you know more about this AK you're probably thinking that 4x4K 4 33 million pixels it must be the next standard and you're probably right but there are some catches and I want to start with a very simple thing the device that records images is the human eye and we can say that the finest human eyes can see in 8K but there is a really big if we can see in 8K if we are close enough because only some animals like the house can see in 8K from a very long distance. If you don't believe me try to stare at your computer or Mac. If you have a full HD monitor from the normal distance you will probably distinguish some of the pixels of your screen but if you have something more such as 2K or even better 4K I'm sure you won't be able to see the presence of any pixel. I personally have a 27 inch iMac non retina and I can't distinguish anything. The reason is that the bigger the resolution, the bigger the pixel density and your eye won't be able to see anything if you keep the screen size the same. It's something like the smartphone screens. A 4K display on a 6 inch screen is pretty much not detectable by human eyes. Imagine this on a TV that you are watching from your couch. You won't see the pixel with a 1080p display, will you? Imagine with an AK. So what's the point of AK in the first place? Well, there are a lot of reasons, but the biggest part are not meaningful for the regular TV users. They are valid especially for pro users, video makers, filmmakers and so on. In the first place, it's pointless to have an 8K display on the screen size that we normally use. 4K displays in fact are useless below 32 inches and we find them from a minimum of 40 to 50 maybe 65 inches which start to make sense in my opinion 8k will need at least 65 inches display but will really start to glow on 85 to 95 inches and yes i agree that you will have many advantages the most important i can think of will be to be able to follow more accurately the colors something like the hdr makes some 4k because with more pixel you can color each one of them according to the need instead of having each big pixel of only one color the picture will be much more accurate and sharp and colorful. Another application is in movie making and it's called downsampling. Basically if you want to export a movie in 4K you record in 8K so when you will be in post production if you need you will be able to crop the 8K image into a 4K one without losing pixel and so quality. Another reason could be to have an 8K display always for video makers because they could work on editing programs with a full 4K preview leaving the rest of the screen with enough pixel to have timeline, controls 
settings and so on. Something like happens with the 5K iMac. Again, it's not a regular consumer use. So the final question I think all of you are interested in is if I haven't updated my TV yet and I want to buy a new one, is it this the right time to buy a 4K or should I wait for the 8K? Well, the short answer is buy immediately a 4K. That's obvious. The long one goes through three steps. As you probably already know, there are three components of television ecosystem, recording equipment, content distribution and final user display. If you bought an 8K TV, you would have only one of these three. Yes, there would be some cameras really pretty expensive right now, but you would be completely missing the bridges between those two. No one will broadcast or stream any 8K content for a while. So unless you add both an 8K camera to record 8K videos to watch on your 8K TV, it would be useless. You will have to watch the few 4K contents upscaled to 8K and the rest in 1080p upscaled to 8K as well. And I personally don't want to see this with my own eyes. If you apply the same reasonment to 4 4K, you have pretty much any recording device capable of this kind of resolution, even your phone. You will have a 4K display, which by the way are becoming quite cheap, with services such as Netflix or maybe with a Blu-ray HD reader, your PS4 Pro, Xbox Scorpio, maybe PS5 and many more that will be in the next year. So, I hope I satisfied your curiosity, so if you are in the 4K loop give a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. And by the way, if you have some ideas or suggestions for some future technology video, we'd like to hear your feedback, it's very important to us. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!